crew thank you for being here and i hope that you're doing well this reading will be covering the emotional body and how to heal the emotional body what is the emotional body the emotional body is that body where all of our emotions are stored all of the things that we feel from childhood coming all the way into adult life everything that we've experienced in our feeling body whether that's trauma the experience of being feeling loved the experience of feeling frightened of feeling abandoned whatever your emotional body has experienced being afraid neglected feeling um feeling excitement whatever you feel or have felt and experienced emotionally that you can say energy was streaming through you when you felt that whether it was love or fear it still is trapped in many people right so and you can tell um the amount of healing or where you need healing in your emotional body by how you are now maybe how you express yourself how you feel about life, how you think of yourself, how you think about others. All right, the things that you're accomplishing, the things you're manifesting, what you're not manifesting. The relationships you have, the relationships you don't have. Okay, all of this can be influenced by your emotional body. Okay, because remember we attract through our emotions. Our emotions are actually energy and we're, out, we're all electrical beings. Okay. So, for example, if you have uh, you, your throat area needs healing, we would say maybe as a child you, didn't, you weren't um, taught how to speak up, how to express yourself. That's just one scenario where we can say that's why that throat area needs healing. That's the emotions. Maybe you were put down, you were told to shut up and put in your place a lot. So you didn't learn how to really truly express yourself. So that needs healing. That is the emotional body that needs to be told. Something like, you're loved. You deserve to be heard. What do you have to say? I'm here to listen to you. What is on your mind? Let me hear you. What's going on? What are you thinking about today? You know, something. these things will cause you to heal. So it depends really upon what it is that you want what did you require in the time in those times of need where your what did your body need did you need to be held or did you need to feel free all right so let's get some messages out for you oh, angels spirits guides thank you so much for coming through beloved ancestors Let's get some messages, get some clarity, how to heal the emotional body really quick. Thank you so much. How to heal the emotional body. Wow. <laughs> I knew this was going to be the six of cups. Six of cups energy is internal love. For me, it's turning that love inside. It's giving onto yourself. It's pampering you. It's being attentive to your own emotions. You see this person giving someone else a flower. It's you being this person for you. And then this is how you're attracting it externally because you're already doing all of this for you. Giving yourself a nice compliment. Um, uh, doing things that you, you love because you love you. Um, letting yourself off the hook, not being too hard with yourself, doing things that makes you feel loved, taking care of your body, eating well, exercising, meditating, whatever it is that you deem as this is an act of love. It's act Yes, it's taking action to show yourself love too. And so you start receiving that. So healing the emotional body, you start listening to yourself more, being more attentive to you. If it means giving yourself a bath, a warm salt bath every now and then. If it means taking a, a, a stroll alone by the beach, barefoot on the sand. Listen to your body. This is what this is saying to me. To heal. Give yourself what, it, what you needed. Even as a child, as an adult. No. Give yourself the things that you need to feel good. To feel loved. To feel healed. To feel appreciated. To feel gratitude. You know. Whatever you need from someone else, start giving that to you. 
start listening to you, being there for you. I love that energy. The King of Cups energy too is talking about the presence of a masculine father presence that will stand up firmly in your life and guide over you, watch over your emotions. One that is able to see you from a higher perspective as their child, knowing what you want even before you do, knowing what is right for you. So, okay, let's continue. Let's shuffle to the end. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, I feel once you start taking these actions to love you, heal you, beautiful things start unfolding in you. As if you begin unlocking energy channels within yourself you had no idea were within you. And you begin to heal and ascend into your higher nature as the King of Cups. How to heal the emotional body, the star card. Some people try to hide away from healing because it may take work. Healing takes work, dedication, commitment, you know. It's like you sometimes committing to healing becomes a ritual, something you have to devote yourself to get up and do every morning. Okay, using your own, your intuition, trusting in yourself. This is Pisces energy. I love this energy. It's so beautiful. It's telling me that you have the power within you. It's as if you realize that you have to really now turn your focus inside moving away from viewing life externally and looking for external validation so, you know being true to you diving deep into you that is how to heal healing from inside out lighting from lighting up inside out hmm. i get the energy of dark feet of too many emotions i feel like clearing out uncertainty to whatever you're not sure about you should learn how to breathe in and clear away not harbor dark uncertain energies just give them away give them to your angels your spirits guides ask for healing too that's how i'm feeling ask for healing you have to ask you're not alone and there are things that need serious healing inside of our bodies serious attention that's how i feel it's not just oh i'm going to breathe and i'm going to go for a jog there are things that some like we need others to help us to heal to go through see there's a lot of higher arcanas up here that's telling me sometimes we need the assistance of other beings who have gone through certain things already whether that's spiritual beings spiritual bodies or that's actual people within our environments that our healers, you know, counselors or therapists or spiritual gurus. Some things really need to heal though in the emotional body. And I, I feel like this is a collective energy where something, and it's literally, it is in the, it's in the heart area, solar plexus, heart, throat, chakra area. Who knows what that means? Where humanity needs to heal these areas of their body. It feels like breathing and releasing old ways, old resentments. Yes, not 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 keeping certain energies within you. Releasing resentment, just releasing things. That's how you heal the emotional body. Learning how to release old resentments. To find equilibrium, knowing who you are, focusing on what is good for you and what is true to you. Alright, so these are the messages I have for you on how to heal the emotional body. I hope you found inspiration here. Thank you so much. Give the video a thumbs up to leave a compliment behind if you find the video interesting. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Like, share and subscribe.